hit that like button just like tyson what's that word family hey man check this out you know when i first started this channel it never occurred to me how often i'll be making videos about the same exact shit all the time every day nothing ever changes especially in america now what happened was these officers were called out to a scene where somebody had a knife. So the officers were already on alert for a woman with a knife. That's all the details that I'm, I'm assuming they knew. So check this out. They get to the scene. A fight breaks out while the officers pull up. We got a young lady fell to the ground we had a man kick that young lady in the head. This all on the officer's body cam footage. Once he kicked that young lady in the head, he fell back. The officer looks up and um, the young lady who pushed the, the other young lady on the ground had another woman against a car, but this time she was brandishing a knife. And it looked like she was gonna stab the woman in the upper neck face area. What would you do if you was that officer? You can't let nobody get killed in front of you, not even stabbed. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people feel like, oh, he brought a gun to a knife fight, which they just ain't never been in a situation with a knife. That's what that meant. They never been to the joint and got stabbed, or they never had somebody die from a knife. Or they just don't think that a knife will kill somebody just as effectively as a, as a gun will. Now, that girl was wrong in so many ways. Why wait for the police to get there to turn up? Why pull out a weapon? That's a deadly weapon. She's a teenager, though. And the man who I said earlier kicked the other young lady in her head was allegedly her father. These are the type of situations we got going on in the hoods of America, ladies and gentlemen. Dysfunctional families. Dysfunctional families. I said all the time about single mothers being one of the most violentest groups in America. Well, these um, no good fathers sitting out here with shirts off in the summertime, 45 years old, still walking back and forth to the liquor store. Very dysfunctional. This young lady should not be dead because her father should have been there to say, hold on, get back. You know, we got to stop the violence amongst each other. We give these officers a reason to kill us. Now, what I'm upset about is the fact that when the officer was standing there and people were yelling at him, he yelled out, Blue Lives Matter. What that has to do with the situation, I'm not sure, but this officer yelled out, Blue Lives Matter. What the hell does that mean, officer? And threw up some kind of white power gang sign or police gang sign, and I guess it's a, a B for her uh, blue, Blue Lives Matter. You know what I'm saying? What type of shit is going on? It's dysfunctional. The officer is dysfunctional as well. He did his job, they should have whisked his ass away. They should have whisked him away. Put his ass in the police station behind bars immediately. But I'm not going to say the officer committed a crime. Because he did what I would hope somebody would do in my situation. If I'm getting attacked by a motherfucker with a knife, kill that motherfucker if you got a gun, officer. Somebody breaking in my car, kill that motherfucker. Somebody breaking in my house, shoot his ass. You know? So the young girl was wrong. Then if you look at the video, because I'm not going to post the video up because they're going to try to shut the channel down and we can't uh, have another used news channel for the hood being shut down. They're going to try to shut the channel down. So I'm not going to play the video. But in my eyes, the um, young female was wrong and maybe she should have been killed because she was trying to kill somebody else. We got people on the internet saying, say her name. No, say the young lady's name that got killed in Walmart. 
from a knife by 13-year-old girls. Say her name. You know what I'm saying? Because knives kill too. Should have been an officer there to do something about that situation. Knives kill too. Black on black violence definitely kills. So I have no problem with a white man killing a black man that's trying to kill me. I have no problem with that. I have no problem with a white officer killing a teenage girl who tries to kill my teenage girl. That's something y'all need to think about as well. I'm going to let y'all think about that. Hit me in the comment section. I'll be back later with more commentary. Peace.